is talking about the country life and the city life. Well, in our daily times, you live in different places than mine. Maybe, like maybe you live in a really far place away from me, or maybe near. I don't know. So today we will be talking about the country life and city life. First, let's look at some new words. First is traffic jam. Traffic jam is when there is a lot of transportation around. There's a lot of vehicles around, and they all make up for there's a lot of cars that. So. There goes a traffic jam where you don't even have a place for you to travel. It usually happens a lot in city life, but not a lot in country life. Sometimes it's at my place. There's sometimes a really small traffic jam, but I don't usually see it. Next, related. Maybe when you live in city life, you're gonna relate it from a country life. Or when you are a country life person, you have a you can maybe also have a city life related, or maybe just a country life related. I don't know. That's your related. Next is medical back to back to Lucy. Medical facility. Medical facility. This is the place where it's just kept by. You would go there and make sure check your health. Like it is a small versions of the hospital. Yes. Next is province. Province would just kind of like a town. Province are usually used for the country life places. Vehicle. I bet you all know what is vehicle, so I don't tell that anymore. But let's just say those are some words that I would tell you. But look, let's talk about the city life first. In the city life, there's always noise, there's always people, there's always transportation. There's usually a lot of traffic jams. Like you can see the traffic jam all day. Because sometimes, so you see that's kind of. Bad about there, but also if you need something, the city life have a lot for you to enter. Like if you need a big hospital to make sure that maybe if a person is having cancer or maybe you can make sure that you can get them in the hospital on time. Yes, or if you want to buy any kind of things is at the supermarket, you don't have to spend like. Hours to go, yes. My mom spent about one hour to go to the supermarket. Next, also there's some other things inside the city life. You can't usually stays in a big house or stays in a house that have a lot of rooms, like. My sister, my cousin's house was kind of small. It had just four rooms. Yes, two bedrooms, one kitchen, and bathroom is at the kitchen too, like this mirror. And that just has one in the living room, the big living room. That's all. Yes, her house was kind of really small. Like it's just about some dozens of meters. Yes, that's just a measuring one, an estimated one. But let's just say the city life can may be good. You can reach a lot of kinds of things here, and you can get. All the kinds of help. Yes, because there's a lot of things that work inside a city. 
and country. The bad points is maybe there's not a lot of places for you to go. Like the hospital there wasn't really great. And if there's a person who has a real sickness or has been hurt really bad, then you would need to go to the city to get a right hospital, not to get it in time. It's really hard. Next is inside the country life. There's not a lot of traffic jams. Yes, like maybe just sometimes it happens. Yes, I've rarely seen traffic jams inside my life. I live in the country. I maybe just see it from about three to four times inside about 10 years living inside this world. Oh, I don't know. But let's just say the country life has some folks that I really like. It's because inside this place, you don't have to study a lot. Look, city students study much more than country life students. Like now, country life students also go to study, but they don't go to a lot of kinds of places to study, except schools. Some of them would study in some other teachers' homes, but not too much. Yes, like me, I don't. There's a lot of my friends who doesn't study inside those places. They just study at home and at school. And also, if like that, the pe the ch kids, the children inside the country have a lot of time to play. They interact with the outside world more. They knew how to plant trees. They knew how to have a garden. They knew what it is like to have a fresh air inside the city. Sometimes their house is right in front of the street. It'd be really noisy. There'd be smoke. Because look what vehicles when it does. It pulls out those smokes a lot. Yes. Especially when you live in some places like there's a traffic jam. Oh, you're not going to have any breeze for that time. But let's just say the country life and the city life has its own Good upsides and downsides. If you're a country life person, please tell me. If you're a city life person, then also please tell me. Now, I have a project. Tell me, what is the life of you right now? And do you want to change? And if you do, then why? But if you don't, then please tell me. What is the things that makes you want to stay inside your life right now? For me, I probably choose the country life. Because look, country life is something that fits for me. I don't like that feeling inside city when I have to study a lot. But not just that point. It's always noisy at my cousin's house. And even spending some time to chill by the window wouldn't be helped. Yes, so I'd rather choose a country life life. Like maybe sometimes you can see some small motorbike sounds, but not always. Yes, like there's a lot in the city, but really small in the country. So I choose the country life. What about you? What do you choose? Please tell me.